Premier Christian Radio, being heard across the nation on digital radio, on Freeview, Channel 725, on AM in the Greater London area and parts of the South East and online worldwide, premierchristianradio.com. It's Rick and Enor with you today. People have threatened to boycott Boots the Chemists after their refusal to drop the price of the morning after pill. Rivals Superdrug and Tesco have halved their prices, but Boots feel that cutting their price would encourage overuse. The chief pharmacist for Boots, Mark Donovan, said that they do not want to be accused of incentivising inappropriate use. Well, we're now joined by Alethea Williams, who is the press officer for the Society for the Protection of Unborn Children. She's also a Christian and she joins us now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So what's your reaction? How do you feel about Boots' stance and you know, their comments on this issue? Well, I think what we have to begin with is by looking at what the morning after pill actually is. Um, so the medical advice on it says that one of the ways that it works is by preventing an embryo implanting. Um, so it's not just that it's contraception, it can also have the effect of causing a very early abortion. Um, and obviously, as a, as a real-life organisation, we take that very seriously. Um, and I think it's important that manufacturers and, and people who sell it take it seriously. Um, so this, this push by, um, by BPAS, the British Pregnancy Advisory Service, who are behind this to lower the price, um, I think that's just showing this, the kind of disrespect for human life that they have. And also it's not showing much respect for the health of women. This is a, a, a serious drug, which um, all advice says should not be used frequently. So the fact that Boots are not um, giving in to pressure to make it more readily available, um, I mean, while they are willing to sell it, which is not wonderful, um, at least they're showing kind of some responsibility in, in, on this. Oh, I guess that's the point as well, that it's not that Boots are not going to um, supply it anymore. So, I mean, is it fair, really, in a way, that women shouldn't have the choice to be able to not only get the, the drug that they want to, but at a, a, a price that is being reflected in, in other um, retail giants? Well, I think this is kind of a bit of a manufactured outrage, really, by BPAS. So um, Boots are charging the same price that they always have done. Um, and obviously they have a right to set prices as they wish. Also, this drug is available for free on, on the NHS. But also, if you hear what Boots are saying, they say that because this is a, um, a serious drug that you are supposed to, by law, have a consultation with a pharmacist with. Um, because, you know, it's not a drug that you should be using frequently. It's, um, the advice is that you should not use it frequently. Um, and also, it, it can have interactions with other medicines. So you do need a consultation on it. And what Boots are saying is that the kind of price is reflecting the fact that it's something which needs a professional consultation with a pharmacist. Now, if the price were to be um, you know, brought down if Boots were to give way to pressure, what do you think the impact will be? Well, I think it does give the impression that the morning after pill is something that can be used on a regular basis, um, which, which is just not safe for women. It's, it's a huge dose of, of hormones. Um, and obviously, if, if people are getting into a situation frequently um, where they feel they need to take this, then this is, it's not really great. It's not, it's not a good way of, um, of kind of regulating, regulating your life and kind of regulating how you, how you space children. Um, so, so I think it just gives a bad impression. And it also gives a bad impression on the value of human life because this is a drug which, which all, all the literature says can co cause the death of, of an embryo. And that's not something we want to be encouraging. All right, then. Thank you very much for joining us on the News Hour. Althea Williams from the Society for the Protection of Unborn Children speaking to us about Boots' decision not to cut the cost of the morning after pill. Thanks thank, very much. Thank you very much indeed, ladies. 27 minutes.